Hello everybody, this is Dooku Dooku and back for another beautiful video in the game here of Stormworks Build and Rescue. And today I'm checking out this beautiful ship which has a name I cannot pronounce. Enter name here. And it is absolutely beautiful. It is a Swedish liner. Uh, hopefully, just like our last episode, nothing bad will happen because we are a good company. We don't sink our ships here. Will we structurally damage them to the point where we need, probably need a new ship? Yes. But we don't sink our ships. That's all that counts in the long run. So yeah, I'm going to get this ship out into the open sea and we'll, we'll go from there. So starting off here on the bridge, it looks pretty bridgy. The view is absolutely stunning. Uh, actual bridge bridge looks good. I got a nice wheel, I got these little graffy thingies. Go bring bring and all that. Yep. You got the wheelhouse in here, which doesn't label, it's kind of simple looking. It has these cables running through, which is kind of funny. But back here, this is the officer smoking room, chart room, navigation room. It doesn't really say. There's a light right there. Hold on. I know it. How to do the lights on. Here we go. None of those buttons. I gotta go to this wheel. Aha! Uh -huh. she laid. So with the interior lights on, we got these beautiful, this beautiful lag here. We got the Marconi room in here, which is nice. Wait, is that a little spinny dial? <gasps> no, just a buzzer. Okay, so we're gonna head down the staircase and go down to the next deck now. And this actually has gantry davits, which I'm excited to test out if they work or not. Hopefully they, they do! They do work. Right here is the mechanism that runs them. That's awesome. I'm excited. Right in here, this is like a little hallway, which may be to the officer's quarters. Yeah, these look like officer cabins, I think. Just because they're underneath the bridge, basically, is my assumption, and because they don't connect to the actual main staircase. But yeah, these are really nice cabins. Or, well, for Stormworks, they're good cabins. <laughs> it looks like all the other lifeboats don't actually, uh... Lower. They have connectors. That's pretty cool. None of them actually function. But it's cool that they're here. Right here we have the gym, so maybe those were, ca those were cabins. First class up there. This is the staircase, though. It looks great. I love this. And we have this piano that has buttons. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What just happened? Ah, great. All right, we're gonna do a take two on this. There we go, we're back in the water, we're sailing straight ahead, but we're not gonna hit that rock, thank God. Okay, back down. We already went all through these levels, we're gonna go right back here to the first class entrance. Lights are gonna be off for this one, oh well. Yeah, piano. We have this beautiful dining room. Mm-hmm. We're thriving in here. Then back here, looks just like we got the boarding doors, which we're gonna keep open for reasons unknown. See, they're gonna find the discovery of this wreck and be like, why did they leave the doors open? They'll never know. They're gonna know. They'll never know. No, but really, I don't, I don't know why I'm doing that. Yeah, there's, I'm sure there's a reason somewhere. I just don't know it. Going back, we got this little bar area. Yeah, it's a bar. Bar, purser's office, I'm not too sure myself. Not sure why there's so many like doors leading to staircases. Like This hallway could have easily been hooked up to the forward end. But hey, we got cabins. Yeah, these are definitely the same cabins as earlier. We love good copy-paste. Um... 
Continuing on, we got this little gallery area here with these nice little outdents. We got, I assume to be the smoking room, which is a nice little heater in there. It's cool. Has a beautiful view of the stern and the sunset. That's nice. That's really cool. Like, look at that beautiful, uh, like, sun setting over there. Mm -hmm. It's not even setting. I don't even know what it's doing. It's slowly going down. Okay, this leads to a bar. We need a good bar on this ship. I need a good bar on this ship. <laughs> That's the T, is just me needing a bar. Okay, so that was the gymnasium. That leads to the hallway. Okay, okay. I think I got it now. So heading down here, we have these two doors. I noticed them when I spawned it in. Okay, this leads to just more cabins that are only accessible from that doorway. This is gonna suck whenever... Oh, we got actual light switches in here. Yeah, this is gonna suck if the ship, like, ever gets into, like, a storm or something. Bow access? What does that do? I don't know. Anyway, it's gonna suck if the ship has to get into, like, um, a storm or something, and all the passengers here can't go to the dining room, and the dining room cannot come to them because they're so separated from everybody else. Like, maybe they're crew cabins, and I'm just dumb, but I don't know, that seems like a kind of a bad placement there. Uh, again, could easily be hooked up through the dining room, like, that's a thing. It's not a good thing, but it's a thing. So heading on to this side, looks like we still have a bar and some stairs. Coolio. The smoking room there. We go down. Love that reflection on the water. It's so pretty. Right here we have a room. The second class smoke room. Possibly because it's the skylight. Makes sense to be a smoke room. I believe this is just a one class ship. Uh, that's my best guess, judgment wise. Also, there's the Swedish flag. We love her. We love to see it. We love representation here. Also, I keep getting hot. See that little symbol on the bottom? I don't know why I keep getting hot, but I keep getting hot. Okay, so there's a little hallway here. Does it lead to a staircase? Leads to something. Maybe these are like pantries of some sort? I, I'm not too sure. Coming back through here, we have the staircase leads back up, I believe. And I think that's all the interior that the ship actually offers, which is quite interesting. Oh, this is the barber shop. Okay. Huh. Kind of cool that the ship has a little, a few features like that. Okay, so I'm gonna go to the dining room. Am I allowed to sit in these seats? No. No, these seats are not seatable. It's kind of sad. Kind of upsetting. You know what? We'll live with it. Going back up to the bridge, we're going to see where we're heading. Great and right now. This ship looks fantastic. Look at this beauty. Ah, oh, I love this bow on her. Looks so good. Okay. So I'm just gonna keep the course here. Hopefully nothing bad happens. Uh-oh. So update. The ship started to hate me. And we're started rolling over. We lost all the lifeboats that can be functionally lowered with the gantry davits. <laughs> and also we're on fire. The engine room blew up. So I'm just gonna turn the throttles down. I'm turning the engines off. Because that sounds getting rather annoying. Let go of the helm. Um, we're literally dead in the water, basically. Um... 
<laughs> I don't know how this how this has come to happen. If I'm being fully honest. Okay, glad those little bow connectors work. Now, if only I could connect him to the davits. But no, all our actual lifeboats are back there, upside down. So they, oh, those two, those two are, oh, oh. Those two are right side up, but they're also like in the danger zone. Oh, Jesus Christ, that fire is spreading. Wait a minute, wait a minute. We're going back on the bridge real fast. This looks correct. That fire is like spreading quickly. Okay, yeah, it's already in the dining room. Oh my god. The ship's literally not. Is this. The ship is literally on fire? Oh my god, we're pulling a literal Normandy, La Atlantique. We're pulling a French line here. <gasps> wait, this is our only boat. Wait, wait. Do I have a flashlight? Do I have a flashlight? Ah! We have a flashlight! Okay, so. We gotta get this one singular lifeboat lowered away at least. Wait, we got two. Okay, so we got one lifeboat attached. Let's go and raise her up. Send that bad boy out. So this should actually send her send the lifeboat past the fire. Okay, that is one lifeboat successfully away. Okay, the fire looks like it's already devouring the dining room deck. Okay, we're gonna push this one out real fast. Uh. Okay, looks like it's good. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, we're good. I was like, wait a minute, it's not, it's not working. Okay, yeah, that fire is ravaging right below us. Okay, so I think the insurance actually covers fire because we are a French company. So, you know, that is great to hear. That's great to know that the comp our insurance will cover all this. Uh, I don't really think I need the torch anymore. The fire has now reached the grand staircase, and it is literally ripping the floor apart. What about the back area? Has it been caught fire yet? So the back area of rooms is still relatively good. Uh, I just got eaten by fire, so that's not a good sign. So I think the fire is slowly making its way over here, because I know just behind this wall here is, like, death. Also, we are listing pretty bad. I think that's mainly due to the sinking itself. Sinking waves. I'm sorry. I'm thinking we're sinking, but I don't know if that's true or not. I'm going to the back helm here. Never mind, there's not a back helm. We have back lifeboats though, that's great. This is a way we can actually escape the ship. That's fantastic to see. Okay, um, plan B. We're heading back to the forward bridge, considering there's no aft wheel for some odd reason. Okay, we're gonna figure out if we are sinking or not, because I think we I personally think we're sinking at the moment. Whoa, 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 whoa! Yeah, I think we're sinking a little bit. Just, 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 just a tad. Just a tad. Y'all think we're sinking? Oh my god. So the front half of the ship has literally split apart and is sinking oh my god hold up hold up hold up hold up yeah the ship is literally broken in two. Oh my god 
The fire is still raging all throughout the forward end of this thing. And there it goes. The bridge has now fully been submerged, almost. Just a few more inches, and then the whole bow, the bow, the bridge will be gone. Where we literally just were, just moments ago, is now completely underwater. And the bow is slowly sinking itself. The stern is actually floating relatively well, surprisingly. This does get me to question if we have power to the Davids at anymore. Because I don't know if there are any like proper light boats that we can launch except for these two aft ones. And if so, we best do that now versus later. But that's crazy. The bow is literally just going down so fast at the moment. My goodness. I don't think the insurance is going to cover this. Wait, hold on a minute, hold on. I want to call my insurance, the insurance company for the Transatlantic Star Company. Okay, so the bow is still sinking down and down and down. Um, the insurance, I was told, does not actually cover this unless, unless we survive. So, that's our mission. We need to survive the sinking of the stern section here. Will it actually go down? Beats me! Does it explain why there's a massive wall here? Instead of all this connecting together? Yes, yes it does. Quite a bit. One eternity later. We've spun completely around. Oh my goodness. And yeah, we're still not sinking. We've spun completely around, so now... No, no, no. The stern went spun around the, the bow as it flooded, so we're now facing towards the, the, the creative island again. I thought we were facing the other direction. Oh my goodness, wait. That's, that's awesome, actually. That means we can actually take the lifeboats that are down there and leave. Because there's no other passengers on board, it's just us. So, insurance isn't going to like that. They're going to think that's suspicious. That's pretty sus, not gonna lie, but, you know, it's fine. It's gonna... Okay, finally, we're in the boat. Okay, so, we just gotta somehow maneuver it back to the creative island. So we made it back to the creative island. I climbed up to this mountain so I can see what's going on with the boat, and the stern is still afloat. All the lifeboats that were abandoned are still circled around there and behind it. And the ones we were using, or the ones that were in front of us, what we were using were up there. Floating above the remainder of the bow, which is somewhere over there. But, oh my goodness, look at that thing. It's still gonna stay afloat. I think the insurance will cover that. We didn't sink it, we did not sink the stern. <laughs> Can confirm. Didn't sink the stern. <laughs> will that be the title of this video? Just hashtag didn't sink the stern? Yes. <laughs> okay, but I hope you guys. Oh, I hope you guys liked the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. You know what? I will hopefully see you guys in the next video. Bye.